Premier Comrade Mielakov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. The primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conte, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Uh. <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Uh oh. Now that can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mines. Think. What the? Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some? I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them.
I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions. But guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the Freak. <laughs> Whatever. Hey there, uh, Moondoggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him? But I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? 
From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a, in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run ten hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifist. What a crop. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will you? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he going to do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Gas. He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade. Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Reveille, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep?
Pox, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Right on! Time to boogie! You alright, man? Just tell me where Bongwater is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want it gathering dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bongwater? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. It sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right, I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence. See if I can convince her to give up bong water. Brothers and sisters, children of the revolution, this is the dawning of the Age of Aquariums. My name is Prudence Kane. Like me, many of you joined the American Liberation Front as a way of getting back at your rich suburban parents for subjecting you to an adolescence of obscene luxury. Look, Princess, we ain't here for the opening act. Where's Coyote Bongwater? Sadly, our leader, Coyote Bongwater, cannot be with us today because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big happy commune. Suck on that, Daddy. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city the same way he freed our minds? With Revelade! How did I know that was coming? Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy. So uh, where do I get me some? That's the best part! 
heart! Our brothers and sisters are about to deliver the final batch of Revelade to our leader, Coyote Bongwater! He's gonna pour it into the bay! Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution! Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass, and I haven't blown anything up for at least ten minutes. Agent Orangeoff, come in! Uh, I failed. You'll have to... start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? B but... This city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain. Or in Jolot. But... no! No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done? Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down. Wow, so our Furon God is buried in effigy all over Earth, huh? <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Ah, yes, Arkvoodle of the Sacred Crutch, prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure Furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of. Ah, <gasps> good go, Nats! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the Furon race. Tis written in the holy book of Fudenga. And lo, a son of Arkfudel shall rise newly born to prepare ye for that day when Arkfudel shall come again. Wait a minute. It sounds incredible, I know, but Crypto... What if it's true? What if you're... the one? Hmm, I did take a red pill this morning. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkfoodle? The scriptures say Arkfoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean, like, Tinkerbell? It's something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal! Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual! All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Arkvoodle! They're bound to follow you! You want me to start a cult? Basically. Hmm, 
Religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it. But how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep, ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred crotch. Hail, Arkvoodle! Time to get religious. Hallelujah. Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkvoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkvoodle and your cult will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz. We've got those KGB agents now, Crypto! Finally! My gun was getting lonely! Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Eat for it. That Agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. All right, I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. My patience is at an end, Gospodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. Uh, you don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Hyman? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly. You can't beat that kind of muscle. Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? I've had wet dreams that weren't this good. Comrade, destroy these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it! We need Bay City! Hey, Ruski, give me those docks! Those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. The city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic, like reading a pop-up book. Okay, 
Locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orange, child. Then squeeze. Hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! At last, the infamous Agent Orange Child. Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance and you tell me what I wanna know? expecting. But if you think turning yourself into some kind of mutant freak is gonna stop me beating the answers out of you, you got another thing coming. Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we? I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure, what the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. Okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's, although in her case, the service is secret. I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. Okay. So I, I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. Th these bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Uh, ah, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch, then. Splendid. Must dash. <laughs> What's shaking, Ponzi? This ain't just a social call, is it? I'm afraid not. I'm relieved to see you, sir. The Soviets appear to be up to some mischief. 
What kind of mischief are we talking about? Because uh, if she says she's 18, you can't just call her a liar. No, no. The Soviet ambassador is throwing a party for the opening of an exhibit of Russian modern art. Frankly, it's making me a bit nervous. A number of Albion's VIPs are in attendance. So, what? You want me to get over there, rough the ambassador up a little? Dear Lord, no. I just need you to mingle with the crowd and check it out. Incognito, as it were. Okay, I'll get a disguise. Wouldn't want my pretty mug to ruin anybody's appetite. Okie dokie, Smokey. I'll go grab a disguise and mingle with the in crowd. Excellent. I'll stay in radio contact in case you need me. humans all you want, spaceman, but you're only treating the symptoms. You want to get the disease, you have to shoot the spores. Let's throw ya! Thanks, Cupcake. Always nice to meet a chick who can handle her guns. You got a name? The name is Natalia. I'm here to help you, spaceman. Or do you prefer Mr. President? Mr. What the? Does everybody on this dismal freaking island know who I am? Da, pretty much. At least everyone in my line of work. Oh, so you work for Ponsonby? Yet. Although after this little incident, I may have to ask him for a job. I work for the Komatet Gosu Darstvenoi Bezubhesnosti. Why, you make pasta? I'm a secret agent with the KGB. Hmm. What the hell do you think was in those statues? Hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Goshniev Kro. Sounds tasty. Hmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon or a quasi-legal performance enhancer for the Soviet Olympic team, depending on the context. So, what is it? Some kind of mutagen? Because I don't know what mutants are supposed to look like, but... Actually, no. It's a spore. It infects a host through inhalation or skin contact. But after a brief incubation period, it seems to set about genetically rebuilding the victim into something... not human. You think somebody engineered it for the purpose? You have a better explanation? I'm just trying to put all the pieces together. At first, I thought it was being made here, but now I'm not so sure. Pojo Moy! The schedule's been moved up. They're about to shower these abominable spores all over the city. You take the Hyde Park infestation. I'll handle the ones in Soho. And Spaceman, good hunting. Huh? Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be on to him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. 
Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, better get the disguise. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do, that someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you in exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas. Although I would have done it for your company. You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tails. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon, so you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Okay, okay. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off. So that's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick, a human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells really good. No, no, focus, damn it. I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not... Mmm, yowza. Morning, Ponsonby. You rang? Hmm? This better be good. I was this close to second base with Princess Margaret. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, sir. This is of the greatest importance. Don't tell me. Polka dots are back in this season, right? Get me Mary Quant on the hotline. Actually, sir, it's pinstripes. Shall I give you the number of my tailor? What was so, so sleepy? You, I'll, uh, uh. <laughs> Lower life forms, when will they ever learn? Ah. Uh. My head feels like Tiny Tim just whacked me with a ukulele. What happened? Oh, good. You're back with us again. I trust you're comfortably tipsy. How do you feel? 
Like a million bucks. Never better. How come there's two of you? Let's try four cc's of Demerol, switch circuits to level three, and prepare the encephalogram. Now, I want you to tell me all the good things you remember about your mother. Mommy. No, Mommy. Not the hot iron again. I'll be good. I promise. Subject is fighting the effects of the serum. Perhaps another approach would be more effective. Examining your weapon's power sources, Cryptosporidium. We're all quite curious as to how the stored MU phase pulse is channeled in the first place. I was told there would be no particle physics. Subject is either a cretin or dissembling, or both. Let's try another approach. The number six serum, if you please. Not Beethoven, anything but Beethoven! <laughs> Subject has reached desired level of confusion. Thank you, gentlemen. I think that will be sufficient. We'll reconvene at 0500 hours. Freaking head. This gas is noxious. Smells like Pox's underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Hey, hey, what the? Ah, damn dirty apes! Where the hell am I? You're in the abscessed mental reconditioning facility under the streets of Albion. Looks like I got here just in time. Now come on, spaceman. Move your ass! I don't get it. Why are you helping me? Because I know now. You're the only one I can trust. Anyway, who else is going to rescue you? Pox, man. I have never been so glad to see you. Actually, I've never been glad to see you, but I am now. Serves you right for trusting a human. What in the musky name of our voodoo happened down there? Oh, wow. You should have seen it. Ponzinby drugged me, and then he tried to brainwash me, but that Natalia chica saved my bacon. So, Ponzinby's playing for both teams. I should have known. Why didn't you just vaporize him? Okay, look. Something's wrong with the guns. They're, they're all screwed up. And on top of that, I can't transmog either. Ponsonby's probably been futzing with them. I should be able to get them repaired for you. I expected I'd find you here. You're quite sporting, Crypto, and I do admire your spirit. But at some point, one simply has to face the fact that the other man's won. Of course, you couldn't know who you're up against. M16, or perhaps I should say, Majestic Command, 16th Sector. By the way, I have you surrounded.
Take off now, and my surface-to-air launchers will destroy you and your precious saucer. The only way you'll leave here alive is in my custody. Come now, there's no need for any unpleasantness. It's undignified. It's beneath us. You've lost fair and square. Now be a man and show a little sportsmanship. There's a good fellow. <coughs> you bastard. You finally did it. M16 was all there was left. The last of the majestic agencies. All the others. The French. The Mongolian station. The Argentinians. Every one of them. Destroyed by... <coughs> aliens. That last round must have scrambled your synapses. I only took down the American majestic. Silhouettes majestic. You? <laughs> <laughs> you cosmic egomaniac, you think this is all about you? <laughs> oh, the irony, beaten by a solipsistic simpleton from space. <laughs> you actually believe you're the only... <laughs> the only... what? Leave it alone, Crypto. Man was in the throes of a violent demise and clearly not in his right mind. Now you've had your fun, can we please just go? Remind me again why we couldn't meet someplace classier. Like, I don't know, a, a meat packing plant. What shaking, sexy? I'm worried, Tovarish. My sources are running dry. I can't risk further suspicion being cast on old friends. The time has come for action. Action? Well, it's about freaking time. What you got in mind? Burglary. I'm going to break into the Soviet embassy. Little the old B and E, huh? Now you're talking my lingo. What's the snatch? All top secret information is in a heavily defended part of the compound. The cryptography room. Right on! That's practically my middle name. Well, my only name. So I noticed. I'm sure we'll find all the answers we need in there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Crypto, but they seem to know all my old tricks. The North Lawn has been mined. The old gate has been sealed up. They've even placed closed-circuit cameras on the only other wall. Cameras are no problem. I'm the president. I've learned how to deal with paparazzi. Crypto smash, you know what I'm saying? You're sure? Because once you start smashing, it won't be long before the KGB shows up to investigate. Trust me, efficient destruction is one of my fortes. I don't doubt it. Good luck, Tavarish. <coughs> so, did you find anything juicy? Project Solaris is accelerating. Coded traffic to the KGB station in Takushima tripled in the last month. I also managed to get my hands on some cargo manifests. Well, that ought to clear things up a little. So you'd think. But what sort of operation uses seven tons of fissile uranium, 340 liters of human blood, and 92 cases of spam? You've obviously never been to the Pentagon Christmas party. Where is Takawatsit anyway? Takushima. It's a volcanic island nation in the Pacific, off the coast of China. We'll have to watch our step. Dos vidanya. See you there. Hey, Goldie. Uh, where are you going? If we split up, they can't get us both. 
Besides, I can't hold your hand forever, spaceman. Hey, doll face. So what's the scoop? What'd you drag me down here for? A reliable source has told me that there are KGB agents waiting for a package exchange somewhere in Takushima City. I need you to go down there, intercept the package, and bring it back to me. Easy as tort, da? Intercept the package, huh? Okay, how do I do that? Nothing you can't handle. You'll need to disguise yourself as a KGB agent, and talk to the courier when he arrives. He'll probably be a bit on edge. If you approach him as crypto, he'll most likely destroy the package. Some people have no appreciation for beauty. You know, I'm starting to feel a little taken for granted here. Yeah, I'm not just your little messenger boy. Crypto, is that what you think? I don't see you that way at all. Look, if you do this for me, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Like Venus butterfly worth my while? More like I let you blow something up worth your while. Hmm, okay. But I get to use nukes. Uh, greetings, comrade. Got any vodka? Of course, what is good day to being here if must being without vodka? Weak local alcohol is only giving me headache. Luckily, I will be returning home soon. Lucky bastard. But uh, you don't like sake, huh? Sake? Oh, I spit on it, but it's smelling like cesspit and tasting like pain. I actually dig sake. It's, um, subtle. Have you losing all sense of patriotism? I'm just saying. Uh, also, you gotta admit, these Takashimi's women are pretty, uh, how do you say, easy on the eyes. You are liking foreign alcohol and women? So, you got the, uh... Item. What is being hurry? It's good to finding other tovarish, net? Uh, it's just that I, I hate fresh air. Yeah. Plus, I got no sunscreen, and yeah, it just seems like every day you read something else about sun damage, wrinkles, you know. Boy, what is happening to stout Soviet spirit? I guess you're right. Hey, it's better than hunting tiny gray spacemen, yet. It's true. Even when dying, small spaceman is coming back. He's, he's like zombie cockroach. So, you're, uh, you're going home to the wife ski pretty soon, huh? Duh. It will be being good. I have been missing her vodka pancake syrup. Man, your wife really takes care of you, huh? She must be like the best chick in the whole Soviet Union. Oh, you're being right. I will be glad to get home. Guess we ought to get on with it, huh? Of course. Now you are walking away as if not knowing me, duh? You got it, comrade. Thanks a million. Say hello to the wife ski. Dos vodonia, tovarish. Let's have a peek, shall we? Oh, Klosno. I did good, huh? Tovarish, you did very good. These documents contain details of the local arm of Project Solaris. Apparently it's located in a top-secret research facility hidden somewhere on Takoshima Island. And we'll find it, yeah, first thing in the AM. Meantime... Uh... How about you and me dig up a karaoke bar and a couple of bottles of sake and build ourselves a memory? 
I do a mean, sweet Caroline. Drop the package and your death will be quick and merciful. Oppose us, and you will be subjected to your own personal gulag of pain. Hey, monkeys, you mind? I'm trying to put the ooves me on the ikche. Why, Crypto, is that your native tongue? It sounds so sensual. Business before pleasure. Ooh, that was a close one. I wasn't sure we were going to make it. Thanks for the help, Tavarish. I've got some things to take care of. Catch up with you later, da? See, long time no see. Where you been? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Listen, Crypto, I haven't time for your jive talking. We've business to attend to. Okay, what kind of business? Risky? Shady? Does it involve explosives? Well, not yet. I need you to investigate something of the highest importance. I'm picking up an unlicensed radio transmission coming from somewhere on the island. I want you to listen to the broadcast and find out the location of their base. Whose base? The White Ninja Cult who are broadcasting the message. I believe they're in possession of pieces of our poor mothership, and they're planning to blow them up. Ninjas again? Hello, it's 1969. What are ninjas doing in 1969? Go with it. Besides, who doesn't love ninjas? Okay, let's do this thing. How do I start? I have marked a radio on your navigation map. Get a disguise, find the radio, and flip through the stations until you hear the White Ninja broadcast. Then listen for a clue as to the whereabouts of the White Ninja base. Here I am, a real live alien. Now bow down before me, ninja. Why heck should I? Who are you? I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. Yeah, today's your lucky day, Sparky. True, you look like Furon, but how can I be sure? Well, for one thing, I could blast you monkeys back to the Muromachi period. Wanna see? Threats meaningless. You could be costume toddler with nuclear warhead for all I know. Try me. I ain't no toddler, and this ain't no costume. Perhaps. But two Furon could answer all these questions correctly. If you fail, so sorry, you must die. Then, again... If you Furon, you can clone yourself and come right back, and everybody happy. <sighs> okay, Sparky, we'll do it your way. Hit me. Who was spiritual leader of hippies in Bay City? I know this one. It was that wacko, Coyote Bongwater. Lucky guess. You wish? Give me my spaceship fragments, pajama boy. Not so fast. I have more questions. Hey, I'm on a roll. Bring on the next one. Attend. Which are following not in Bay City? Stonewall Bar? Ain't that on Christopher Street in the village? Not that I'd have any reason to know that. <clears throat> Indeed it is, and therefore not in Bay City. Impressive. And the hits keep coming. What's next, Sparky? Secret KGB base in Bay City. We're hidden. I know this one. The KGB had their base on that prison island, The Rock. They did, indeed. That answer, correct. All right, I played your little game. Now hand over the prize. I gotta see a chick about a chubby. 
Silence! I still not completely convinced of your furonity. Fine, bring it, PJ. Where Agent Orenchoff hiding out in Albion? Duh, in the abandoned tunnel network. How do you know all this stuff anyway? Correct, but none of your business. Uh-huh. Pretty convenient, ain't it? Come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Then riddle me this. What happened to hipsters who came to happening? You kidding me? They did it all, baby. They made Woodstock look like a tea party. Correct. Or so I heard. One more to go. Okay, last question, Sparky. What organization Ponson be really in charge of? Oh, baby. Majestic 16 for the win. Uh, that's correct. So, how'd I do, huh? Huh? What'd I tell you, right? Furon City, baby! Results conclusive, and y Then it is true! You are an alien! We worship you, O oh Lord from beyond! Alien! Now Alien! that's more like Alien! it. Oh. As a token of our faith, O oh Lord, we offer unto you our most ancient and holy artifacts handed down from an age beyond the memory. Artifacts! 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 I was kind of hoping for Geisha girls. Black Ninja! Apostates and unbelievers! We will fight to death in your name, O oh Lord. But first, we must compose our death haikus. Kill them all, and seize their precious artifacts! Hey, nobody screws with my cult but me! We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for this victory. Piece of cake. Now, now about those geisha girls. Yippee. And now, in honor of this mythic triumph, a victory haiku. Steel glints in sunlight, limbs go flying, bathed in blood, Tarantino-esque. Catchy. Don't suppose you got a haiku describing any super-secret KGB bases hidden around here? <gasps> we do. Secret hidden base put there by the KGB. Where the hell do you go? Our spiritual leader, Dr. Go, might be able to guide you to enlightenment and secret base. But I'm afraid Dr. Go has been kidnapped. By... Why? KGB! Natch, okay. Time to find the good doctor. Hey, Matryoshka doll, have I got news for you. Hey, Nat, what do you know about ninjas? Only what I've seen in history books, and of course, ninja movies.
Apparently, the big question in the ninja world is which ninja faction you swear loyalty to. Sort of a Jets and Sharks deal, huh? Okay, what are the choices? At the moment, there are only two. Black or white. I've seen the Black Ninjas. Not bad in a sparring match, but I can handle them. Be careful, Crypto. Black Ninjas are calculated killers. Cruel and vicious. Huh. Didn't realize we had so much in common. What you got for me? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Me? Only information that may lead to the discovery of the secret base. Tasty. What's the catch? It's being held by a mysterious figure who goes by the improbable name of Dr. Go. The real catch is, Dr. Go has been kidnapped and taken to Castle Kuro. Let me guess, and I gotta kick some ninja monkey butt to get him back. That's right! You're really catching on to this spy game, Crypto. Well, I'm not generally in the habit of rescuing humans. I'm more the torturing type, but uh, if it leads to the secret base, for you, baby, anything. My name is Luke, uh, Cryptosporidium. I'm here to rescue you. You... you are Furon. That's right, and this is the greatest day of your life. First things first, where's the secret KGB base? But... but you said you were here to rescue me. Yeah, but the base location's really all I need. You're, you're kind of optional. More trouble than you're worth, really. No, dear. If you do not rescue me, KGB will kill me. Then you will never find the base, ne? Damn. Well played, egghead. I don't think you understand the situation, Go-Go. I don't have to rescue you. I could just leave you here for the KG Boneheads. You like that option? Logic defeats you. I cannot escape without you. You cannot find base without me. You're insidiously clever for a monkey, you know that? And you are amusingly dim for a Furon. Stairmate! And KGB will be here any moment. <sighs> well, at least I get to kill somebody. Stick close, Doc. If we cannot contain the virus, we have no choice but to kill the cure. Well, well, way to mangle those cliches, pal. Who's translating this stuff anyway? Yes, me. You fellas ought to get your money back. Let me show you how it's done. Yippee ki yay, Mother Russia. Good morning, Dr. Go. You look a little rough around the edges, Doc. Not that I care. I would not expect you to care. But yes, I was roughed up by some ninjas. You ought to take better care of yourself. You're no good to me dead. Nor to myself. I suppose you are ready to correct on our bargain? 
Check out the big brain on Doc. Yeah, it's time for you to pay up in information. No beating around the bamboo, Doc. I want the location of the KGB base. Fair enough. The base is... Inside the volcano. But... No buts, Doc. Or I go all Iron Chef and get out the monkey cookbook. No, no. It's just, you need three security codes to access base. Codes? Oh, for art fools. Okay, what are they? If I had them, I would tell you. But sadly, I do not. Oh, this just gets better and better. <sighs> One code is held by KGB Rida, Agent Sasha Soysorsky. The second is kept by enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. Third code is in my briefcase, which was stolen by Brack Ninja and taken back to their base. Well, at least now I know the score. I'll start with the Black Ninjas and your code. Good plan. And while you are finding my code, I will try to ascertain locations of other two code keepers. Right on. I'm off to fry some black ninjas and find that damn briefcase. Oh, here. You need key to open briefcase. Don't lose it. Only one I have. Hot ninja brother! What's your purpose here? You know, I got some info that could really help us do a number on the White Ninjas. Oh no, we not want trouble! Trouble? Are you nuts? I'm telling you, we could kick their asses! You crazy? We never actually fight White Ninja! How you think we last so long? You're telling me all this Ninja Clan saber rattling is just for show? Of course! You think we want to get killed? <laughs> Those white ninjas not mess around! Unbelievable! You know, uh, now that I think about it, maybe you guys are chicken like a fox. Poetic metaphor, but I not get it. I'm just saying that... Uh, geez, what am I saying? I'm just saying, uh, discretion's the better part of valor. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Uh, cowardice, it's the new bravery. Are you buying any of this? Uh, not really. But deny or not just river in Egypt? Good enough. Ah, uh, nothing special. Just thought I'd check on the briefcase. Oh yeah, looks pretty secure. Stupid. Case very secure. Anyone want to take, they have to fight Buku Black Ninja. Yeah, I have to be pretty dumb to take on a whole base of Black Ninjas. <clears throat> hey! Oh, who even think of trying? Die thousand horrible deaths! Hiya, Doc. Okay, one down. Where do I find the next code, Doc? It resides with my ex-girlfriend, enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. You're pulling my pud. You actually got a chick to go out with you? Oh, yes. And when she hears of my escape from Brack Ninja, I know she'll want me back. Uh-huh, yeah. And where do I find the old flame, Go-Go? She frequently tends to Zen Rock Garden in Zen Temple. I bet she's a hottie, huh, Doc? A sexy lady, foxy mama, huh? Please don't kill her! No promises. Konnichiwa. Can I help you? Professor Yuki, I presume. I am. I got good news, Professor. Your main squeeze, Dr. Go, has escaped Black Ninja custody. That is good news indeed. But you are mistaken. We are no longer involved. Maybe not, but I gotta tell you, the good doctor would love to see you. Really? Why should I see him? 
you know, to, to catch up, reminisce, hell, I don't know, write a haiku together. Haiku? He said that? A romantic devil. He knows how I love haiku. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, him too. So, does that mean you'll see him? I will consider it. In the meantime, there is a photograph of me on the rock in Zen Temple Garden. Find it and take it to him with my love. No, too strong. With my affection. My fond affection. And tell him I might entertain the thought of writing haiku with him. Might. Phew. <laughs> you got it, Teach. What's up, Doc? <laughs> it kills me every time. Got a nice picture of your girl from my wallet, Doc. Candid, if you catch my drift. Now where do I find the last code? The Gaijin who stole Yuki from me has a final code. Cast him and his ancestors! He is a KGB division head called Sasha Soysorsky. Now that's what I call a subtle gag. Where do I find this tongue twister? He is holed up in KGB building in Takoshima City. I think perhaps he is depressed. But in any case, I fear you'll have to destroy a whole building to get him out. Why, Doctor, surely you're not suggesting I kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. And it's just a coincidence the Ruski's making time with your chica, right? Don't worry, Doc. I'll wreck the place good and take the code from his dead red fingers. What's the buzz, Foxy Mama? Guess who now knows the location of the secret base? It's the volcano. I know, but we need codes to get in. I know where to find the first... We could do what you were gonna say, or I could reach into my pocket and pull out... Crypto? You have the codes? This is wonderful. What are they? I... love... you. Not now, Crypto. We have work to do. Tell me the security codes. Those are the codes. Also, who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know who's on third. Now then, I'm off to infiltrate the secret KGB base. Don't wait up. Very funny, Crypto. I'm coming with you. Uh, no, you're not. It's too dangerous. Your chauvinism is touching, Crypto. But I don't take orders from you. Don't be stupid, Nat. In case you've forgotten, you can't just reclone yourself. And in case you've forgotten, you don't know how to operate the access terminals outside the base. Uh, you're the most infuriating female monkey I've ever met. That's your problem. To you, I'm always female monkey. Why can't I just be monkey? Be whatever you want. I just don't want you to be a dead monkey. Crypto? That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, well, I just don't want to lose my shot at sinking the pinko, that's all. Of course. I understand. All right, enough meaningful chit-chat. Let's climb this smoke bomb.
Graham Muha, Premier Milinkov. I regret I'm unable to join you in person. Unfortunately, the quantum uncertainty of this experiment demands I maintain a safe distance. <laughs> it's Heisenberg's world. I just play in it. Experiments? What are you talking about? I'm so pleased you asked. We've prepared an educational multimedia presentation for just such a purpose. Meet Gojira! She's single, a Pisces, and the summer intern for credit at the illegal KGB base here in Takoshima. Like any good Soviet worker, she was happy to volunteer for top secret experiment. This twister handle experiment is underway. Watch how more the miracle of quantum radiation transforms Kojira, bringing out her giant potential. Finally kicked you out of the geisha house, huh? Did you figure out where that ginormous monster went? Not for certain. But I'm picking up a signal in the ocean to the south. Yeah, what kind of signal? A radiation signature, emanating in gamma waves from the creature's tortured brain. Tortured? Yes. It's as if the monster is crying out, Kill me! Kill me! That's gotta be the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. So, you want me to hunt down this monstrosity and put it out of its misery? Actually, I want you to read its mind and into it the source of its cognitive dissonance. So we can get it some help and over time teach it confidence and self-esteem. You gotta be kidding me. Of course I am, you mutation! Now go kill that thing! Okay, okay. But how do I find it? Do I have to? You get in your saucer and fly to the spot marked on your radar. Look for bubbles on the water. That's a pretty good sign. There's a monster! So then what? I just drop some fat boys into the water and blow it up? Unfortunately, no. Your saucer's weapons are ineffective underwater. You'll have to figure out some way to get the beast to surface first. And then I play a little whack a lizard. Got it. Oh, brains! My lives are flashing before my eyes! 
Kill it, Crypto! Kill it! Not what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. <sighs> Never mind, we don't have time. Now, I just received word from Sergei, my contact at the KGB. He says they're building Project Solaris at a Soviet base in Siberia. The town is called Tunguska. It's a little remote. No kidding, because I thought everything in Russia was 20 minutes from everything else. <laughs> Tick tock, doll face. So this is Tunguska. <laughs> Yikes. It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah, oh, man. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka, you look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for further verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate. Svolochi. Duh. The area plans are kept in a high security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaitchik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us. Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder. Even in the tundra. Thank you, comrade. We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. 
Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Okay, so how do we get our hands on the plans? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more the freaking merrier. Okay then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, dull face, I'm off to stir up the Soviets. Be careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck. Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. So how about those plans you swiped? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Da. But a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at? Dobry den, Tovarish. Hey, gorgeous. Did you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the Organic Weapon Technology Program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you. But I expect a big reward. Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm. You can ask him for your reward. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Finished already! And here I was, just getting started. Of course. I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. Well, that wasn't condescending. So... He makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalange pods. is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks.
Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, hey not bad, Goldie. So did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Нет. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? Da, ah, but not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh, my. Holy hookers of Arkvoodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk! I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. I'm glad you're here, Crypto. We need to hunker down and do some serious strategizing. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My, my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Cleared it right up.
Revit, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough. Hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for ya. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris, but I quit after I saw very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it, whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. 
Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care. Facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuryakin. Uh, Ilya Kuryakin. Nice to meet you. Well, hello. How nice of you to drop by. Okay, Ox, what are we gonna do about these crabby blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. The main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's got to be locked down tight. It is. And my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then... Destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. Alright, Poxy. I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! Head for the Blisk base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock on to the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These Blisk are a lot stronger than- Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzabi was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Fabulous work! The hatch is open! Now the part I know you've been waiting for. Call in the saucer, Crypto, because it's time to play Blow Up the Blisk Warship! And remember, don't waste your ammunition firing at the hull. The only vulnerable spot is inside that thruster. Hey, Pa, you seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Millenkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Cerny. She better not be. Man, I have had it with that smug jerk-off. Look at me. I'm so handsome. I'm so smart. I read poetry. I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Why, hello there, comrade. Dr. Orlov, just the cat I wanted to see. You haven't seen a hot blonde cheek around here, have you? Name's Natalia. I did! Alien creature was taking pretty woman up to alien base! Oh, she's tough cookie! Was putting up quite a struggle! 
they hurt a hair on her sexy little head, I'm gonna boil every last one of them! Well, they are only passing by a short time ago. If you hurry, you might catch them. Uh, when finished, perhaps you could be rescuing me as well? I'll just wait. Crypto! Thank Lennon you're here. The worms have come to pass. Sergei is infected! Ah, for crying out! Tell me you use protection. Uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya, that needs us! I am not talking about STDs! He's been infected with alien spores! Indeed, he has Lapushka, and I'm afraid Penicillin won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millencob. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame. Neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svidanya, Kratos Peridium. Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? Look, it, it sucks that Melinkov got away, but I couldn't let you, you know. I know, Crypto, and thank you. But we still have to stop Melinkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now. Ugh, what are we going to do? Uh, hello? Have saucer will travel. I was wondering when you'd ask. Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Nice of you to join me. Okay, sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <laughs> oh. So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was gonna be something hard. You got it, babe.
no time for chit chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right, Pox. I need some serious intel on Moonbase Solaris. Right. Moonbase Solaris consists of two primary areas: the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base. Like two lobes of the same twisted mind. Okay, what do we know about the Blisk, aside from their ugly hissing? They are indeed a most repulsive race, and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun. Uh, is this thing on? Greetings, fellow children of the Glorious Workers' Revolution. Be getting lost. We are waiting to hear from Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid. Ahem. Uh, is this thing on? Ah, uh, good day, comrades. Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid, why we have to work in such long hours at hard labor? Good question. The Blisk have you guys working way too hard. And you know what? It's time we did something about it. Who's with me? Ugh, Leonid is right. Bliskovics have taken advantage of our good natures. Hmm. But Leonid... Why we have to leave beloved country and coming to this hellhole? Da, is being worse than Verkhoyansk in February. You're here for one reason and one reason only. To help the Blisk take over the Earth. It's good. I am being in favor of world domination. Hooray, Bliskovics! So, comrade, why we are never seeing beloved Premier Milinkov anymore? Da, he used to be flying up frequently for surprise holiday photo ops. Da, mission accomplished. That was being good one. Milinkov, he's kind of busy. You know, partying in the Mediterranean. On his 50-foot yacht, with the Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders. Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders? You are yanking with my chain. While we are being stuck in unisex moon base? Pistons! Hmm. But comrade, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Because Milenkov thinks you're too drunk and stupid to go over there without getting lost, that's why. Drunk? Okay. But stupid? Why, that sofa? Ah, we can no longer be trusting Premier Milenkov. Oh, it ain't just Milenkov, kids. The Blisk think you're a bunch of morons, too. Bliskovics also? Uh, but they are always telling us Soviet Union will be ruling world. Dalian, it. What evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskovics? Evidence? They're controlling your minds! I am thinking Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid is drinking too much Revelade. 
They've taken over your entire government. Comrade Leonid is perhaps watching too much American television. They're giant freaking lobsters from outer freaking space! We are seeing long-term psychological effects of space travel. Poor Leonid. They're taking away your vodka! Oh, this... this is being outraged. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka, Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing! There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskeviks! Yeah! Give me vodka or give me death! Da! Yeah! So what does this mean for the Bliskeviks? Bad news for the Bliskeviks! That's the spirit! Now get out there, find the Blisk, and kill them crabbies dead! For what source of the Blisk's radiation. Demolish the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance, and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for... What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Holy crap! All this work, hours of gameplay, and you're telling me we failed! I'm afraid so, Crypto. Once it's started, there's no way to stop it. Oh, we're doomed! We'll never get that pure DNA back to the home world now! Our race will clone itself right into the genetic trash bin of history! Oh, tragedy! Unless... Unless... If we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might fear off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs. Now go! Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. 
But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Huron. Get this through your monkey brain, Mill and Cobb. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? You two big tin horn petty tyrant, I fart bigger than you. You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe to toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess. You and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and crabbies. A match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds. No imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krampies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You fur on so to that. But Earth. Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity. To become a new Eden. And you radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encourage the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk warship crashes. 1970, Act of Revolution. To the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da. You're not suggesting. Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... Sure, Lin. Face it, Kritosporidium. You Furans have been out -skin. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of police on Earth. The loss of our sports is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans, no more Furo DNA. And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Lestrovia Cryptosporidium.
be a good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Oculus Lewins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Well, the plug on this mission, that's what. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. Glad to see you. You won't believe it. The Bliss Guard. Planning to kill humanity and turn Earth into an irradiated water world? I know. Oh, well, uh, uh, the good news is Pox has... Concocted a virus which will cause the Bliss to spontaneously combust? I know. Oh, how'd you know? I'm a spy. It's what I do. Okay, well, uh, so what are we gonna do? We're going to bring these Flolachi to their knees, that's what. I'll release the virus. You just keep those Krebbies off me while I do it. They're not touching a hair on your pretty little head, Dollface. Trust me. They'd better not. I told you, I'm allergic to shellfish. But one way or another, Tovarish, this base is coming down hard. <sighs> I am so turned on right now. Hey, it's only the fate of our species, right? We can do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Da, comrade. I'm ready. And spaceman? 
good hunting. Rock and roll! Boy, honey! to pretend. I know how you feel about humans. Well, not all humans. Natalia! You're gonna pay for that, you son of a bitch! I've been ringing you for hours. What in the galaxy is going on out there? Sorry, Poxy. Uh, just working on a little science project. Wait, 
trip to. You're finally showing an interest. I knew one day you'd make an excellent scientist if only you were properly motivated. What is it? Physics? Biology? Little above. A little up. Wait a minute. I'm detecting residual heat from the cloning lab. Crypto! You did it! Listen, you little pustule! If anyone's getting a new clone around here, it had better be me! Who was that? Kriptushka? Telemarketer. <laughs> Nothing to worry your sexy little head about. Whatever you say, my insatiable alien loves her. Wake me up when you're ready for re-entry. I made a few adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> 